You're right, it is cold, Tunic. Can you believe these emperor penguins have been standing out here since the winter started in Antarctica? Super! It's true! It's up to these penguin dads to keep their eggs warm until they hatch. Hmm. Look like our mums! The penguin mums are at the ocean getting food for their family. But it's a long, long trip home. I hope they're back soon. Yeah, me too. It's gonna downright boring just standing here. We may be bored, hungry and tired, but we're emperor penguins. We'll do whatever it takes to keep our eggs safe. Right, dads? Right! I can hear you! Right! Shellington to Gup I. Not quick here. The emperor penguin eggs are fine and the fathers are staying strong. Very good, Shellington. It looks like the temperature is warming up. Spring is nearly here. The winds are calm and... Eh? Huh? What's that noise? Follow me! Quick, quick! Ah! Penguin cheeks! They're scratching because they're hatching! Super, super! Let's go and tell Captain Barnacles our egg sighting news. <laughs> Cracking! Good to hear, Shellington. The Emperor chicks have hatched. And that means it's time for the mums to head back home. How are the Emperor Penguin mothers doing, Peso? Swimmingly, Captain. Look, they're chasing off the food so they can fill up their tummies and feed their families. Incredible! Look at that strength and speed. My Emperor Penguin cousins are champion divers. They can swim deeper than any other bird. Dashy, Quasi, it's almost time for the penguin mums to head home. How's the research coming? Amazing, Captain. I'm getting some video of Emperor penguins feeding that nobody's ever seen before. Yeah! Look at them go! The flipping and the sipping! Yeah! And now I'm getting some video of Quasi that nobody's ever seen before. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah! Ready to go again. Oh, I'm still new at all this. First year laying an egg, first time diving for food as a mom. First time? You swim like a pro. Oh, you think so? I feel so full and clumsy. It's our last meal before the long trip home, so we have to eat a lot. Oh! Excuse me. It looks like the mother penguins have finished eating and are ready to get back to their families. We'll want to be on the ice when those penguins surface. Something tells me it's going to be quite a show. Look! Did you see that? Those penguins launch faster than cannonballs! Check, check. Check, check, check. Barnacles to Gup I. The Emperor Penguin Mothers are on their way back home. Not all the mothers. We're missing one. You're right, me hearty. Where's the penguin that gave me a ride? She must still be underwater. She'd never be late on purpose. Penguin Mothers know when it's time to go back home. See? Something must have happened to her. She may need help. Dashy, take the Gup S under now. <laughs> Penguins can only hold their breath for 20 minutes. Then we'd better move fast. There, Captain. Good work, Dashi. Peso, let's bring her aboard. Oh. Easy does it. This penguin's a lot heavier than you, Peso. She's an emperor penguin, the biggest, tallest penguin there is. And it looks like she's broken a foot and sprained a flipper. What happened out there? I remember swimming to the surface, but then I hit a chunk of ice. The next thing I remember, you saved me. Now I need to get home. You need to rest. But my family is waiting for me. Then they won't have to wait long. We'll bring you back to the nesting ground ourselves. Oh, thank you. Picked up. I think a blizzard's headed our way, Captain. Any sign of the other penguin mothers yet? I can't see much in this weather, and the ice is slowing us down. Everyone, into your snowsuits, just to be safe. Way ahead of you, Captain. Barnacles to Gup Eye. Can you find us a path away from this wind and snow? 
Turn northwest past the nearest ice peak. You'll be sheltered there. Understood. Thanks, Nat Quick. Feels like we're picking up speed. You'll be home to your family soon. Bumping into a lot of penguins today. <laughs> What's happening? The ice underneath us is cracking. Ice chasm. Octonauts, abandon the gut S now. moment in the Antarctic. You had us worried, Captain. I'm all right, but I can't say the same for the Gup S. We'd better sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to your stations. That's odd. For a second, I thought I heard the Octo Alert. Huh? My Octo Compass is frozen and the Octo Alert isn't working. Gup I, come in. Come in, Gup I. Shiver me whiskers! And all me other parts, too! We can't stay out in the cold like this! Don't worry, we'll keep warm by carrying you home. But which way is home? Um... I have no idea. The map's not working. <laughs> that way is home! <gasps> That's right! Emperor penguins can find the way back to their babies without a map or a compass. Even in a blizzard! Octonauts, let's do this! Long no, love. Not long at all. Look. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Over here. <laughs> Where are you? I want my mom. We'll help you find your mom. What does she look like? It's more important what she sounds like. Each Emperor Penguin family has a special call only they use. I'd recognize my wife's call anywhere, and she's not here. She's not the only one who's missing. Where is Barnacles? I thought the team would be back with the Penguin Mothers. This is Tweak to go Bess. Hello? Nobody's answering. Wait, wait, I hear something. Me too. Hmm, that sounds like an emperor penguin call. Mixed with a polar bear growl? My darling! I'm here! Bandages? Are you all right, dear? Oh, yes. Thanks to the Octonauts. I never would have made it without them. Now, how about a proper hello, little one? Meet your mommy. <laughs> Oh, my little legs all grown up. Captain, what happened? There was wind and snow and an ice chasm. I'm just glad you're all okay. But where's the gup S? <clears throat> you tell her, matey. Me? Why do I have to tell her? Well, I'm not going to tell her. I'm afraid the gup S is at the bottom of an ice chasm. <sighs> Weak! I didn't think you'd take it that hard. <sighs> we'll figure it all out, Cap. It ought to be a real adventure getting the gup ass out of that chasm. Yep. But first, how about some hot chocolate? Good idea, Quasi. Make mine a double with 
extra marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> The Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post is out here on the sea ice. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is! Let's go! I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles! It's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys? I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashi here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashi. She's our computer expert aboard the octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. Okay, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's... well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic? Yeah, and... Whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashi, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. Ooh, me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. What was that? I'm not sure. Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adelie penguin. What are you doing out here? 
We're making our big once a year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, but I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju, please keep up with the rest of the group. Oh, but look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. We should be getting close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, mateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. <laughs> Captain, flashing light, straight ahead. I think we've found our research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my... Cutter cutter. Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Somebody had to eat and run. Ah, somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Oh! Uh, what was that? Everybody out! Here, grab on! Is everyone okay? Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Mm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. Professor Natquick? <laughs> I don't believe it. Barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes. I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> 
How to dodge one of my surprise snowballs. <laughs> Very good, Barnacles. Thanks. But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago. No one knew you were still here. My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave. I'm on the edge of amazing discovery. But it may soon be lost. Lost? Why? Follow me. Click, click. This is why I called for help. I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in, all of your work goes with it and disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ice research station to safety faster and you can save a bunch of munchy crunchy frozen carrots. Let's do this! Octonauts, you saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce on the chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Natquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic Fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. What? What is it? Mm, sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Potter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adelie Penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. Cap, the flares are ready to go. They should be bright enough so the Adeli penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashy? The radar shows that the Adeli penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Ooh, what's that? Did you see those lights? Attention, Adelie Penguins! This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso! What's he saying? Shh, please, stay where you are and don't go any further or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody stop! All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are. But we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. The bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. First, we drill a tunnel through the ice, and the 
we heat a drill, we'll melt the ice into water as we go. Then the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. Yes, Captain. I believe everyone's here. Uh, oh, except... Hold on. Where's Uju? Oh. Wow. Uju! Oh, Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes. Kick, kick! You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, Uju! No time for stopping. Speed waddle! All right, I'm coming. Ice crack! Oh, Uju! Wait! I hear rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes. That's definitely the sound of penguin flippers. He's alive. Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly. Poor Rujo. Don't worry, penguins. We'll save him. Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso, the rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of you back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. Uju, can you hear me? Hey, sir. I'm down here. Yes, I'm coming for you. Did I fall all the way to the bottom? No, you were lucky. You landed on a ledge. Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but I, I can't move my foot. Hold on. I'm almost there. <sighs> Wait, so. Ah! Did you? Ah! Dig it! Good. Hold your position. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me! Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. Work, Octonauts, and especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job. And now your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh dear. Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward waddle! Goodbye! Oh, no. How fast can this thing go? Let's find out, matey. Oh, fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart. Hmm, what do you think, Twig? Well, it's definitely a fixer-upper. 
So, let's fix her up. Just give me about eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you like it. I call it the Gup Eye. The eye is for us. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashy. <laughs> these legs can lift the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible! If you like the outside, you'll love what's inside. Come on. Your very own hot chocolate machine. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup Eye. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurptopus. Whoops. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved, how would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, please. Me too. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. Oh, yummy. <laughs> Delicious. Open up and say, ah. Ah. Very good. Say, ah. Ah. Good. Say, ah. No, not ah! Just ah! Ah! Mmm, parrotfish, just in time for lunch. Ooh, I've never tried a penguin before. Oh, I know I shouldn't eat you. You seem so nice, but I'm a great white shark. I can't help it. Couldn't you try to help it? Aye, all right. Trying. No. Gotta eat you. Sorry. <gasps> Ooh, that looks like a big metal fish. Never tried one of those. Captain Barnacles, come in. What is it, Peso? I'm being chased by a great white shark. <laughs> And he got a piece of the gum. Tweak, open the octo hatch now. You got it, Cap. That's horrible. I think I'd rather have the penguin. Just a little bit further, Peso. Tweak. Close the octo hatch now! Ouch! What happened? Cap, the shark is stuck. But if we open the hatch any further, he'll get in. We need to create enough water pressure to blast the shark out without hurting him. Tweak, activate super flush. It worked. The shark is out. But look. Ooh. <laughs> the shark must have hurt his fin swimming into the octopod. Looks like he could use a bandage. Ooh. I suppose we should sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, there's an injured great white shark out there that needs our help. But we must be careful. The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. 
That's true. He does like to eat, and he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Hey, so I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But it only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... As I was saying, I... Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. But a shark's got to eat. <laughs> he can't eat the cup eggs. Oh, he's getting tired. And if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving and he won't be able to breathe. Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain. Yow! Shark! Can you not see I'm trying to eat? You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. But I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Ah. Good work, Quasi. And flip! Oh, I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of tickles. <laughs> Good for a ride. OK, the shark is calm, he's moving, and he's breathing. Now I can bandage his fin. Be careful, Peso, and quick. The shark won't be calm for long. right -o, Peso. Nice and steady. Ooh, a wee penguin. I'm here to bandage your fin. <laughs> that tickles, pal. <laughs> Uh oh, I didn't know you were ticklish. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Steady. Just have to get down to the bin. Okay, I think this calls for a super speedy triple loop around the shark bin rack. <laughs> Hurry, Peso. He could come out of his trance any second. <laughs> there. Ah. Good as new. How do you feel? Oh, good. I'm hungry. <gasps> oh, no. You're out of your trance. <laughs> Peso! Flappity flippers. You saved my life. I should just say thank you, but I'm hungrier than ever. Hop on, matey. A cat, a penguin, and a crunchy motor thingy. And so now you can eat party! Hey, I feel fantastic! Was he the shark's after us? No problem. We just need some more speed. Hold on! Quasi, keep away from the shark for as long as you can. Copy that, Captain! I've got an idea. Tunip, come in. Uh, 
I need an extra large supply of fish biscuits. Shooter, Judith. <laughs> All right, Quasi, try to lead the shark towards the surface. I've got a little snack for him. Come on, Sharky, right this way. Quasi, look. Captain, we're almost out of power. Can you get the octoski up in the air? Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, oh, yummy! Bullseye! Yeah, we better get out of here. Uh oh. You're right. <gasps> Don't worry, guys. I'm not hungry. You're not? Nope. The most delicious fish biscuits just flew into my mouth. It was so strange. And now I don't have to eat you. Which is great, because I love you guys. You fixed my fin. Thanks. But just a warning. I could get hungry again. In that case, how about a little dessert? <laughs> Just a little further up, and we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Cap. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and it never melted. Remarkable. Here, Cap. This be the spot. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> What was that? We hit something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! <laughs> now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is. Oh, my paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! Oh! Shiver me whiskers! Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key! That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, right, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Got it? Got, got it. it. Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh no, that could make the sardines sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Suba, suba! Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. <laughs> The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting up. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, sounds like somebody needs help. Oh, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. Called. Hey guys, I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready guys? One. A little more. Two. to catch up with those sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys. And I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Hey, Mitch, could you 
Did you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. Tommy ache. I'd like some relief. Just hold still. I'm going to perform a keyectomy. Just swallow some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp. Like this. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <gasps> it worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. <laughs> Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of uh... crashing into things. <laughs> yes, I know. Yo, oh. well, Captain. Now that I've got me key back, we finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. Flying snowballs of Whitebeard. And look, it's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonaut, let's do this. <laughs> the octopod! I see it, I see it. We're almost there, Mum. Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the Octonaut. I hope they get here soon. Pinto, Mom, you're here. I can't wait to ask Pinto about his adventures. And look, Mom, we get to swim through the Octa Hatch. See how it opens. Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. Peso's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto. Peso! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum. Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just one of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Thank you so much for taking us to see the Iron Clam race, Captain Barnacles. We all want to see it. I think Hugo's going to win again. Hugo wins the Iron Clam every year. What's the Iron Clam race and who's Hugo? I'll show you. I've got some great video I shot of last year's race. There's Hugo in the sliding event. Whoa, he's fast. He broke the penguin diving record too. He went deeper than any other penguin ever has. And held his breath for more than 20 minutes. Wow, that's a long time even for a penguin. Yow! And he swims almost as fast as the gut bee. No one can beat Hugo. He's so good at everything. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clam Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> Me? Is this a joke? Nope. But I could never beat Hugo. Of course you could. You're my big brother and you can do anything. My son, the athlete. Captain, tell them I can't do it. Who says you can't? Aye, matey. You can't give up the ship before you've even set sail. 
You still have time to train, Peso. The race is in Antarctica, and it's going to take us a while to get there. Yes, if you work hard, you can do it, Peso. I'm happy to help. I know a little something about building strength. Mm. Please, Peso, please. OK, I'll do it. Fast enough. Here we are, Captain. So tell us, Peso, how do you feel right before the big race? Nervous, but I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you. Not everything. <laughs> Almost everything. I don't have a chance against Hugo. Why did I ever agree to do this? Pay so, pay so, yeah! That's why. You're right. I can't let him down. And you must be Peso. I really have to thank you for signing up for the Iron Clam. Without you, I wouldn't have a chance to win again. Don't be so sure you're going to win this time, Hugo. My big brother's a great athlete. Of course he is, little guy. May the best penguin win. Even though it's kind of obvious who that's going to be. <laughs> Welcome to the Iron Clam! The race that pits penguin against penguin in three exciting events. Sliding, diving, and swimming! A penguin must win two or more events to win the race and this special trophy. Oh, the Iron Clam! Event number one, sliding. I shall throw the Iron Clam down the slope. Then, the racers will slide down after it, penguin style, on their tummies. Whoever catches it first, wins the event. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Come on, Captain, we're gonna miss the race. Uh, uh. Quasi, activate skis. And Hugo takes an early lead in the sliding event. Look how he takes that curve. Peso's off to a, a slower start, but there's still plenty of time. A perfect turn for Hugo. Uh-oh, Peso's having some trouble. Catching up, and... Yeah! Who says penguins can't fly? Uh, Quasi, they can't. Flappity flippers! It's a wipeout for Peso! And the winner is Hugo! 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 Hugo!
Peso, you'll catch a cold. Are you okay, Peso? I'm fine. I'm just sorry I let everybody down. Don't worry, matey. The race isn't over yet. That was just the first event. There's still two more to go. Don't feel bad, Peso. This was your first time. The first time I did the sliding event, I almost lost too. Though, of course, I ended up winning, so that's not really the same, is it? Please take your places for the second event. Dashi's going to use her camera to video the underwater events, so you can watch them from the octopod. <laughs> Very kind of you, Captain. Good luck, Peso. I just know you're going to win the next one. Right, I can do it. Welcome back to the Iron Clam, event number two, diving. I shall throw the iron clam into the water. Then the racers will dive down after it. Whoever brings it back to me first wins the event. Remember, if Hugo wins this, he wins it all. Let the countdown begin. Both penguins are off to a good start. They're neck and neck. Peso takes the lead. He goes for the clam. He's got the clam. He's dropped it. He's got it again. Peso's got the clam. Jumping jellyfish. Peso's got the clam. <laughs> 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 Oh no! He's lost it! The iron clam is sinking again! And this time Hugo's closing in on it. He'll get it back! He can do it! Looks like Hugo's got the clam! Yow! That thieving dolphin just stole it! If the penguins can't get the clam back, this race is over! Dashy, it's not over yet. Those penguin wings are as good as fins underwater. Look how fast they're swimming. Like a couple of dolphins they are. Hey, dolphin! Drop that clam, please. What? Huh? Oh, we have a new twist, folks. The dolphins dropped the clam, but now a whale's got it. Yeah. Peso's got it! Oh, now Hugo's got it! Now they both got it! Give me that! It's mine! No, it's mine! I got it first! And I've got it last! Whoa. This race is taking the Iron Clam to new heights! I had it first! Dream on! Whoa! Wait, now an albatross has got the clam and is flying off with Peso and Hugo! Now there's a bird that can fly! But Peso and Hugo can't. We need to stay with them. Let go! No, you let go! Yeah, how about you both let go? Yeah, you two are getting heavy! Drop it! You drop it! How about I drop it? Huh? Oh! Quasi, get ready. Steady as she goes. Now, activate airbags. Thanks, Captain. And they're off. We'll catch up with you, Peso. Yeah, got it. Ooh, oh. No, I've got it. What? Find us keepers. Tentacles off, Squiddo. It's mine. Drop it, Hugo, before you get hurt. I'm not falling for your tricks. Mine, 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 mine. After that clam. There they are. 
Looks like everybody wants that clam, but this race is just for penguins. Peso's looking strong, but Hugo's pulling ahead. Hugo, Hugo, of you we sing. You're so good at everything. Oh, I'm sure there must be something I'm not good at. Excuse me. Huh? Yeah. And Peso takes the clam. And the winner of the diving event is... Hey, so! Hey. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. I knew he could do it! I've been beaten? That's never happened. Hey, so! Hey, so! Of you we sing! You might even win this thing! I might even win? I might even win! Ladies and gentle fish, for the first time in years, we have a tie. Each penguin has won one round. So, it all comes down to the third and final event. Please, take your places. Event number three, swimming. The racers will swim from one end of the trench to the other. The iron clam is waiting at the finish line. Whoever reaches that first wins the event, the race, and the iron clam. Let the countdown begin. Five, four, three, two, one, go! go! Hugo pulls out ahead of Peso. Come on, Peso. You can do it. Oh, Peso. Don't let him get ahead oh, of you. Go for it, Peso. You got lucky last round, but not this time, Peso. Yo ho! Hey, hey, hey! Go, go! Uh oh! Uh, look out! Oh no! There's been a terrible accident. Quasi, let's move in as close as we can and get them out of there. Aye, aye, Captain. Luckily, Peso and Hugo can hold their breath for a long time. Oh, Peso! Oh. Uh. Where is he? Is he okay? Uh. Uh. Hugo, you've hurt your flipper, but I don't think it's broken. This seaweed bandage should make you feel better. Uh. It does, but how are we going to get out of here and finish the race? Good question. I'm just afraid that if we try to move one ice block, the rest will fall on top of us. We've got to get them out of there. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Peso and Hugo are trapped under big chunks of ice. We need Gup C and D to rescue them. Come as quickly as you can. I want to come too. I have to save my brother. Sorry, Pinto, but this job is just too dangerous. You can help by staying here with your mum and looking after her. Come along, Pinto. Astronauts, this is going to be a very tricky operation. We need to carefully remove the chunks of ice one by one so the whole pile doesn't fall on Peso and Hugo. Tweak, you can start with that one. You got it, Cap. Don't worry, the Octonauts will get us out of here. Sorry, Cap, but this chunk of ice is too big for me to get a hold of it. Then we'll use the cup C. Take it slowly, Shellington. Aye, aye, sir. No! 
just one. Easy now. Hugo, are you all right? We're okay, just a little cramped. Pinto, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Captain. I was just trying to help, but I've made it even worse. Aye, matey. The ice chunk is wedged tighter than before, and now we've got no rope to pull it with. Did you hear that? How are they going to haul the ice chunk away without rope? Good question. Wait a minute. That's it. Captain! I have an idea! Octonauts, we're going to use these seaweed ropes to lift off the ice chunk. When I give the command, we're all going to pull together. Pinto, we could use your help. Really? We need somebody to pilot the Gub B. Aye, aye, Captain! Ready? Pull! Come on. You can do it, Pinto. You did it. Thanks, Captain. Yes. Thanks for rescuing us, Octonauts. Let's get back to the race. Let the Iron Clan continue! You shouldn't be swimming, Hugo. You're injured. No pain, no gain. I'm a winner, not a quitter. Why are you swimming with me? Why don't you go on ahead and grab the clam? That's what I would do. Because there are more important things than winning. Like what? Like making sure you're all right. I don't understand you at all. Yeah. Go on, Peso. What are you waiting for? I can't leave you here. And I know how much winning means to you. So... Hey! What are you doing? This is incredible! Peso is carrying Hugo across the finish line! For the first time in the history of the Iron Clam, we have a tie! I must admit, folks, I don't know what to do. Who gets the clam? Definitely give it to Peso. He deserves it. Oh, that's all right. Hugo wants to win more than I do. Allow me. There. A big cheer for the winners! I'm so proud of you, Peso. You won the contest and you saved Hugo. My son, the hero. <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.